Hi, Mary from Reviewer's Diary. <laughs> I've had to restart this intro a couple times, so let's see if I can get through this without stumbling all over myself. I'm going to be doing two projects that are going to last 10 days. I am doing 5 times 10, not 50, 5... <laughs> five and ten and ten and ten and the five and ten I was like five times ten I'm like no that would be fifty that wouldn't be five masks that I picked out so what I'll do is I'll call it five by ten and ten by ten so <laughs> I want to start out first with the masks. That is the simplest way for me to go. I picked out masks that are either brand new to me or that I have gotten and I have not used. And so um, I only have one of this one. I got this in a uh, Ipsy bag back when I was an Ipsy member and this is a Pure Lease mask. I'll read all the information to you guys after. Let's see, this is Blue Lotus Seaweed Treatment Sheet Mask. Intensely moisturizing. So I've been looking forward to using this, but I have like, I literally have a drawer full of masks now. And so I, I figured, you know what, before that one gets lost in the shuffle and I don't use it, since it is such a treasure, I will definitely use it. So I'll let you know how that goes. Next thing is Feel Brilliant Bamboo Charcoal Facial Sheet Mask. And this is powerful, detoxifier, and pore minimizer. I don't know if this is going to be drying. Um, I didn't even think about that, but I will give it a try and I'll let you know. So this one, I'm not sure which box this came in. I think it might have been a Allure Beauty box. The rest are also from boxes. And I have two of this Peter Thomas Roth Cucumber one. This is the small one that came in a Beauty Fix box. And I got a bigger one in Sephora Play. <laughs> Go figure. You know, the more expensive box, you get the tiny one. So I figured what I should do is use up the small one first before I crack open the bigger one. Bigger one's not full size, but it's like almost a full ounce. And this is like, gosh, this is like a half an ounce. So if that, it might be less. So I think I can get two or three uses out of this. I My plan is not to finish these, like the ones that I have in tubes over the next 10 days, but to at least use them at least once. So I'd like to finish this one since it's so small, but I'm not sure I will. That's not really the goal for this. Okay, this one I'm sure I'll finish. This is from Wara, and it is a turmeric mask. And this is a teeny, teeny, tiny, like literally one mask, I think, in this tube. So I will be finishing this one. This came in a birch box. Brightening, minimizes pores, all skin types. All right, so yeah. I think I might end up using this one up. And finally, this one has more than one use and I have more than one of this. Refining Machka Detox. Yeah, Machka, what the heck is Machka? Anyway, this tube is full all the way to the top like all the way to the top I'm not sure what box I got this and I think it might have been beauty fix but then why do I have two of them I must have gotten one in another box other than beauty fix so that is the five masks that I plan to use obviously the sheet mask will be used up because they're a one-time use um, but I don't really expect that the tubes are necessarily going to be used up, but they will be at least tried. And that starts tomorrow. Now on to the one that you guys will be more interested in. It is a makeup one. <laughs> and this is 10 products, 10 days. And what I did is I picked out products I've been kind of ignoring. Ugh. 
and some of them are in um, project pans um, but I've been kind of ignoring them anyway and so I have a lot of stuff here that I what I plan to do I have 10 products and I'm going to use them exclusively for 10 days oh. the reason I decided to do this is because when I did my um, last declutter and I, I know I have other stuff to declutter, but um, pencils being like the, the next thing, I think. <sighs> These are things that I've totally ignored and I definitely want to get some use out of. So I'm going to start with the face base. Now, this is in a project pan. It's in my year long. I think it's also in my 100 colorful empties, which I still have to do an update for. I've used up a lot of the colorful empties, but um, I really should be using this because it's old. It's like, I think it might be the oldest primer I currently own. I think my other primers are all much newer than this one. So let's see how much, I've used it quite a bit because I marked it here when I started my 100 colorful empties and it is down to here, but lately I've been totally ignoring it. and using like la di da di da either no primer or like something else like so I think I need to give this a little bit more love next thing <laughs> let's see what shall we go with I think we'll go with the foundation I don't know is gonna work for me <laughs> this was one of my favorite foundations let me give it a shake it doesn't seem to change the outcome this is Laura Geller and this is the foundation with color correcting pigments. Now they may have changed the formula. This is very orange. Um, I'll put a little bit on my hand so you can see. And there's the color. Let me just rub it around. So you can see that that's way more than I would normally put on, but you can see that the color is a bit orange. So I used it a lot when I first got it. I haven't touched it at all in months. It hasn't gone bad yet. Some foundations you know right away when they start to go bad. This one has not gone bad yet. Yes, I've had to throw a few out. I think I need to use this before it goes bad. And I haven't used it at all in like probably about a year so and it was this orange before I when I first got it so I'll have to come on and do a get ready with me with this stuff I don't have this makeup on today but I will come on and do this because I think you guys need to see how this is applied so that it doesn't look orange honestly it doesn't like I remember that it doesn't look orange when you put it on like when you buff it in it just looks nice okay another thing is something that I got in a boxycharm box and I never ever use it I think I used it once or twice of course I keep these stupid plastic things should probably let that go and that is this um, palette I, you know I think sometimes concealer palettes unless you're a makeup artist are kind of a waste this came in BoxyCharm. It does have a lot of colors I think I can use. And I might use the darker colors for contouring. Um, but I literally have not used this more than once or twice. And I think it really needs to be used so I can decide whether I like it or not. I have a lot of concealer. I've used up two so far and they'll be in my empties. But I have hardly, I think I used this once or twice and I was like, wow, that worked really good. And then I put it down and forgot about it. So I definitely have to give this some love. So that is three things and that is base. And there's one more base item. And that is this It Bye Bye Pores Powder. Now I've kept this in the box because I used it once and I really didn't like it. I think I put it on too heavy. I should just get rid of the box because it's too late to return now. So it's translucent powder, but it's pretty heavy. Um, I don't know why it's so heavy, but it could just be that my technique that day was bad. So I'm gonna give this a good good try. And one, one of my pet peeves is 
it has that soft um, finish type of cap like you know the NARS palette Nar I'm really tired like the NARS makeup has like that funny flocking kind of I don't know but anyway it gathers fingerprints and dirt and so don't really like that for now I'm going to keep this in the box you'll know when I give my update and 10 days after I start this um, <laughs> whether I kept it or not. I will toss this out because I'm not going to worry about that concealer palette. All right. Next thing I would normally put on after my powder would be bronzer. This enter pronoun, it looks really orange next to me, I think, or am I orange? Am I yellow and orange? What color am I? I don't even know. So anyway, <laughs> It looks really dark, but it's not really dark on. You do have to use kind of a delicate hand, and I use my favorite bronzer brush with this, but I put it in the back of my drawer and I forgot about it. I think I've used it twice in the last six months, so this needs a little bit of love, so I'm going to use that. And then for a cheek product, this is something I've never used ever, ever, ever. And I um, had it in my blush declutter. And that is this Wet n Wild blush. And the color is, what color are you? Pearlescent pink. It doesn't look pink, it looks peachy, honestly. So anyway, um, of course, it comes with a little brush. I will dispense with that because these things are useless. Um, but I will use this. I've never, ever used it, and it's, it's time for it to get used. Then on to highlighter. We're not quite done with face yet, but the next couple things will finish it. And that I'm going to use this Nomad highlighter. It's tiny, but I remember when I swatched it, when I got it from Ipsy, that it is the most gloriously beautiful highlighter on. And so I'm gonna use that. Now I have a lot of face spray, including this NYX Matte Finish um, Spray. I have never used this ever, ever, ever. I did spray it on my arm when I started gathering up these products because I really wanted to make sure it hadn't gone bad before I decided to use it and it has not gone bad. It's been waiting for me so I've never used it and so I'm going to use it. Next thing, I'm saving the most exciting, what I think is the most exciting item for last. Next thing is this Skin by Dimitri James. It's a lipstick. I put it on my hand. It's really beautiful and a lip gloss. The way I wear this is I wear them together. Like I'll wear um, the lipstick and then the lip gloss on top. And that's, those are the colors. They're very similar. Obviously they're made to work together. I um, almost never use this. I put it in my 17 by 17 you can see I have marks on there yeah I was gonna do an update and I marked everything and I didn't do it dang it but anyway um, this uh, skin by Dermitri James is a pretty neat product and I have very rarely if ever used it. I think I used it maybe twice so it's time for it to get used and finally something I bought and I never used and I think it's the most beautiful thing, one of the most beautiful things I've ever seen. And that is this Urban Decay palette. I don't know exactly what name it is. Let's see what it says on the back. It's really hard to read this, the uh, purple on silver. It says beauty with an edge. So that must be what this palette is called. I remember I got this on Ulta website. They have a sale section, so if you ever shop Ulta, go to the sale section before you even look at anything else. Because a lot of times there's something that is like really fabulous in the sale section. So you go to, you click coupons and sale, and then you click the sale tab, which is like the third tab over. 
and usually there's some really great stuff in there for half price. Well, I got this on one of those sales and it was half price. I, I can't remember what I paid for it. it. Might have been $16, I'm not sure. Like it wasn't expensive. Anyway, get a load of these colors. I've had this palette for about a year and I have never once scratched the surface of it. I may have swatched the colors, but I have never ever used it. And I love these colors. Like. I can't wait to use that green. I just love these colors. They're really workable and some of them are shimmery and some of them are not. I like that there's a light brow bone color here. This pretty much looks like an all-inclusive palette. I have another one that's not. So it's one of the reasons I picked this one because it looks like it has everything that you would need to do an eye look. So um, I'll be using this during the next 10 days. So the reason that I decided to do this was because I know I have all these beauty products that literally never get used. I usually reach for my favorite things and then I don't reach for these and I, so I don't know. Like The problem with leaving things to sit is you don't know like your next favorite thing, your next love could be that something that is sitting in your drawer and not getting used and so you know it's it's important to me to get some use out of these products. If I don't like them, I'll pass them on. That's one of my plans. If I do like them, or even if I'm kind of on the fence, I'll hold on to them because a lot of times something will be good one day and not so good the other. So anyway, these items will take place and be used over the next 10 day period only. And the reason I do that is because I'm going to use these things for 10 days. If I love them, great. I'll let you know that I love them. If I don't love them, I'll get rid of them. If I kind of like them, maybe could love them, I'll hold on to them and I'm going to rotate through my other stuff. That's why I'm doing this, mainly because I have so much stuff that I never use. And so I need to start rotating through all of my products so they actually get used. So anyway, thank you very much for watching. This has been Mary with Reviewer's Diary. If you like this video, give it a ten, uh, <laughs> give it a thumbs up. If you want to join me on this, please go ahead and record your video and let me know so that I can follow you while you're doing it. Um, and we can update each other while we're updating everybody else. And that's it. So the next update won't be for 10 days because in 10 days, I'm going to let you know how it went. So anyway, thank you very much for watching and have a beautiful evening. Good night.